my girlfriend would actually think he's funny. Give it up for Ryan Hatfield. Justin, a round of applause for hosting. Yeah, this is great. This is great. This is great. Um, I also worked for Penn State Athletics. <laughs> I guess just coincidentally. Uh, um, yeah. I, uh, I worked as a design designer for them. Like, I made mailers for them, like, for recruits and stuff. And I made all these, like, you know, not to brag, I made all these gorgeous designs for uh, posters to send to their recruits. And they were like, hmm, can you just like make bitmojis instead? <laughs> I was like, I spent two days on this. <laughs> and she was, they were like, yeah, but can you just like put some bitmojis on it? <laughs> like I like that, you know, all that stuff is there, but can you just ri get rid of that and put some bitmojis <laughs> on there instead? And I was like, Okay. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, Friday night, let's party. Charity is an important part of being an adult. And I've, I've been feeling like a real, you know, I've been feeling like a real adult. I uh, just recently bought a candle. <laughs> you know, I think that's like the main thing to get into adulthood is just like buying your first candle on your own. Um, I love this candle. Um, I bought it at Walmart with my roommate. Um, it's kind of like going halfsies on like a child. Uh, um, I love that thing. Uh, you know, I have. I bought it also because like my I, I'd have like friends over and they'd be like, "Wow, Ryan, your room smells kind of like shit. It smells just like shit in here. It smells like shit in here." And I was like, yeah, well, um, thanks for telling me bluntly. Uh, I'll go buy a candle with my roommate. It'll be cute and adorable. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I have a long history with candles. You know, I, I grew up around candles. Um, when I was like this, you know, I was like a little kid, right, at one point in my life. Um, and, you know, little kids, they're cool. Uh, I came down one day. Uh, while my dad was asleep on the couch, it was like middle of the night. I come downstairs, you know, with some water, and I see that there's a candle. There's a candle burning in, in the fireplace in my living room, and I say, oh my god, my house is gonna burn down. My father's falling asleep. I'm gonna save the day. I'm gonna save my family from perishing in a fire that would kill me and all of my belongings. <laughs> So I went over to the fireplace and blew out the candles, and I walked over to my dad and said, Dad, I just saved your life. <laughs> I woke him up and said, Dad, you're gonna love this. <laughs> I just put out this candle, and uh, I, think I, I think I earned that extra pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards now. <laughs> um, you know, I so, okay, so you know, now you know the history of me and these you know, kind of how, like, it all started. But now, you know, I have this candle in my room. I love it. It's like a fire. It's a fire that I have control of in my room. Uh, a side note, don't tell my landlord I'm not allowed candles in my room. Uh, they're a fire hazard. Um, they're a fire hazard, but, like, like, it's kind of like my fire hazard. It's like my own little thing. Um, I, I, I know that, like, you aren't supposed to, like, keep candles burning for, like, uh, the longest it'll go. <laughs> you just can't, like, let them burn until they're gone and, like, leave them unattended, because apparently it'll burn down your house. I, hell if I know, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I... I, I kind of want to see this happen, though. I kind of want to figure out how this happens. I don't want, um, I don't want to Google it. I don't want to find out how it's going to burn down my house. Uh, I just kind of want to test it. You know, I don't care about my apartment or my belongings or my roommate, for that matter. Um, I just, I just really kind of want to see this 
Um, and I'm just going to stare, stare at it and watch it as it engulfs my <laughs> house in flames. Knowing me, I'll probably just like fall asleep and wake up and be on fire and be like, darn, missed it. <laughs> you know, um, oh my god. You guys are gonna, oh, you guys are gonna freak out at this. You got, oh, you're gonna lose it. Oh. oh my god. Get a load of this, guys. You know these, you know these little kids? These little kids, they drive me crazy. When I was a little kid, I was in, I was in like, uh, arts and crafts class, right? And, uh, it would drive me nuts. It would drive me nuts when we would have to, like, fold a paper just like crease it in the middle. That was the hardest thing in the world. That was on my mind all the time. I was way, I was petrified of the next time I'd have to fold a piece of paper for a class. And I would, I would be so jealous because the teacher would stand up in front of the room and show us just like how to fold it, either, you know, the classic hot dog style or the hamburger style. You know, those are the only two ways to fold the paper. Uh, and then, the, you know, the teacher would, would, would fold it in half and then she would give it to the person in the front row because she's not going to use it. I was so jealous of that kid. I wish I sat in the front row. I was too nervous. It's really hard being me. It's really tough. You know, uh, Here's the next thing I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> I was walking, uh, I was walking home the other day uh, from stand-up, because that's this is what I do. And um, I walked past the Starbucks, right, and there's just an absurd amount of ice poured out in front of the door, like right in front of the door. It's like more ice than I have seen probably in my whole life. Uh, I've been to ice rinks. There was more. <laughs> I've been to, <laughs> I have a freezer, there was more. Um, and I was like, I, you know, I just see this big, like, slab of ice in front. And I was like, okay, Starbucks, we get it, you're closed. You don't want more people coming in. You don't have to set up traps for us. Like, uh, I just imagine someone's like, oh, it's 9, 9.59, I gotta get my, uh, my cold brew in there. <laughs> because I'm staying up all night, they run up, grab the door, and then they just slip and fall and crack their head right open. No cold brew for you, sir. <laughs> you know, they just like, they put, I mean, what, what's next with this kind of stuff? What, what could possibly be next? You know, like, could there be like a bear trap in like, you know, around the last muffin? Like, the manager was saving that for after work. <laughs> Better not try and touch it. Uh, you're going to the hospital if you try and do that. We'll kill you at Starbucks. We'll kill you right dead if you even try anything on us. You need us, and we'll kill you. You're a commodity. Starbucks, we hate you. Starbucks is the devil. Uh, can you guys remember that? Yes. Yes. All right. You know, <laughs> am I making sense to you people? <laughs> Is this making sense to you people? Another thing, I was some fucking kid. I was just some little fucking kid. Listen to this. Listen to this next thing. <laughs> this is the next thing in my set. Just get, just get, get, get a load of this. Just get a load of this thing I did. I was a fucking kid. I did this. I was obsessed with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I was obsessed with them, just like today. And uh, I was so obsessed with them. I would, I'd like buy, I'd save up money and just buy packs. I dream about stealing from the Target. I dreamt about that. I had dreams about stealing from Target. I never did it, but I dreamt about it a lot. I would t and and I would just like take. I was so obsessed with this, and not even, I was so obsessed, it w I would take old Pokemon cards, right, because who gives a fuck?
<laughs> and I would print out Yu-Gi-Oh cards <laughs> off of my family computer <laughs> and cut them out and then uh, paste them on <laughs> the, the Pokemon cards. And I'd be like, guys, look, I just got this uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> and be like, Ryan, that uh, that is a Bulbasaur. That is a. Uh, uh, you, Ryan, we know you can't fold and uh, <laughs> you've done a horrible job crafting this. Uh, maybe if you paid more attention in class and stopped sitting in the front, you would know how to do this well. Um, but it's okay, because now I work for Penn State Athletics and I make designs all the time. I can make as many Yu-Gi-Oh cards as I want. <laughs> Thank you, Penn State. That's my time. Thank you.